Kristiansands region brand and redning. It's like uh, Kristiansand Fire and Rescue Service, also known as KBR. We have uh, seven fire stations. This is the main station where we have a crew of 11 at any given time. My name is uh, Trond Busterud. I'm uh, one of four uh, shift leaders who also has the role as uh, incident commander. We respond to any kind of emergency, fire, traffic accidents, accidents with dangerous goods, search and rescue, and uh, yeah, basically everything. When we started out, we wanted to use drones as early as possible. Our goal was to have drone on site when the first respond unit attended. With the DJI dock system like we are using is that we have drones around the city. We can deploy them and be on site a long time before the first respond unit. My name is Anders Martinsen. I'm the CEO of UAS Norway. We are a non-profit organization working with a number of verticals, including KBR, that we can utilize to gather resources, both with in-kind and knowledge we have from aviation, and see how drones can be an even better resource for public safety. We could be earlier on site to determine uh, the scale of the situation, to deploy more resources earlier. If we have uh, an accident with uh, dangerous goods like explosives, we can send in the drone as first uh, to have eyes on site to see if there are any danger or not uh, before we deploy people into the area. In uh, KBR, we have three levels of drones. Level one is the uh, mini version. Level two and three is the Matrice 3TD. Level two is a standalone version, and level three is operated from dock, and uh, that will be our future focus. My name is uh, Glenn Lunden. I am the drone manager at KBR. The Flight Hub 2 allows us to operate manually, or we can use the automatic flight to task function. We can input an address or coordinate, and the drone will automatically fly to the location. We have used the 3D mapping for especially the terrain. So if we have a missing person, we can use the 3D mapping to determine where you're able to see things. And uh, to deploy the drone into that area with the thermal capacity is a tremendous advantage. Ska vi säga, det var punkt där väl? Här uppe, ja. Ja, det är mot att bara fem och vi hämtar mer information som vi får att ta med oss. Ja, det är mot oss. With Flight Hub 2, we can have visual image of an incident site around the fire station in under 90 seconds. Ja, då är dronen i luften och på väg upp till det stället. Så du uh, kan följa med på nätbrettet och så uh, så snart vi ser något så ska vi komma med ytterligare besked. We can share live drone footage with those who need it, such as the incident commander, other drone personnel or to the operation center. Ja, det är korrekt. Vi är fortsatt på väg upp vi uppdagar på zoom ganska tidigt så vi flyr över välkomna och så hänger dronen rätt över dem. Och dronen hänger på 100 meter. Over. Ja, det är lokaliserat på Isländs Ja, kan du zooma ut lite på land, är nog landfast på drona kikar. Drona kikar får svara inte om det är Ja, jag står här i Torla Sveien och har visuell kontakt med personen. Kan se han, han är mycket längre över på Eksia, driver nedover. Flyter fortsatt över vann. Ja, vi ser det som är så gott jag har Det ene som ser det er CRO3 på vei oppover på skjermen her.
beyond the obvious that it's uh, important for a quick response from many, it's really valuable as an asset for many to use both for mapping, uh, thermal uh, sensor package that you have, but also then to collaborate on sharing the data among stakeholders. And with the advantage of a system that can enable this, the value will be not only for the ones who have it, but also for many of their partners. We have to train uh, using the dock system. We use that training to inspect different things. It could be dams, it could be ladders in the harbor area, it could be lifeboats, check if they are there or not. We have uh, flown several hundred flights from the fire station in uh, all kinds of weather, rain, snow, icy conditions, and uh, they have all been successful. As a part of this sandbox, we are exploring to see how many docks is needed to have as much capacity within the city limits or the operational volume that a drone can use. Everybody knows that resources are limited and may also be even more limited in the future. That's why we also are exploring to see what kind of resources is needed to perform safe and secure remote drone operation. And just to be sure, for public safety, remote drone operation is revolution.